Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sakshi and here on my channel, I share beauty, travel, wellness tips. Before moving into the video, I wanted to wish all of you a very happy Diwali. Today, I've created this very easy makeup look for Diwali. Um, if you like this look, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you next time. Oh hi there, let's get this face chest up. The first thing that I'll be doing is moisturizing. Here I'm using Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer to moisturize my face. I actually love this moisturizer. I think it works really well with my combination skin. Um, so I'm just dabbing a little bit of it into my hands and then massaging it really well on my face, especially under my eyes because I tend to have drier under eyes. And then I'm also going to take that on my neck because that's the part we usually tend to forget so yep that's what i'm doing there and then i'm going to tap it into my skin like a true youtuber <laughs> leave that for five minutes and then we'll move on to the next step okay moving on to the next step is minimizing those pores i'm using tarte pore minimizing primer here but honestly you can use any primer that you have i'm just taking a little bit of it and then dabbing it onto my skin i won't be spreading this to all over my face but just on my problematic area and then whatever is left on my fingers i'll then tap it onto my chin and my forehead because i just feel like that controls the oil um, i'll then let my skin marinate into this for a few seconds up next is the foundation here i'm using wet and wild foundation um, honestly this is my one of my favorite foundations it is so natural uh, but the problem is i absolutely hate the applicator so i'm taking a little bit on the back of my hand and then what i'm doing is just tapping that and spreading it onto my face i like doing it because i feel like this uh, blends the foundation really well when i go with my brush or beauty sponge so i'm doing that on all over my face um just putting it and then spreading it a little bit so that warmth of my finger can blend it into my skin. Now taking a very random brush uh, which I bought years ago and just uh, blending everything into my skin. Uh, the finish of this foundation is so natural. It's not dewy. It's not super matte and that's why I think it works so well with my skin. Also, it photographs really good and that's why I've used this for the Diwali occasion. Um, I'm just blending all of my face with a brush. Um, I am more of a brush person, honestly. I'm not a beauty sponger type of a girl, but let me know what you guys prefer when you blend your foundation. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here, just blending everything. And then whatever is left on the back of my hand, I'm just putting that on my neck because never forget your neck. All right, moving on to our dark circles. I'm using my absolute favorite L'Oreal Infallible Concealer uh, for concealing my eyes. I will be taking just a little bit of it and putting it under my eyes like you can see. Um, the reason why I love this concealer is because it is so hydrating and it doesn't dry out my under eyes at all. Um, then what I'll do is I'll just take the same brush that I used for my foundation and then blend everything seamlessly in uh, the finish is so natural and it sits on my skin so beautifully it's one of my favorite products uh, moving on I'm just taking this cover girl concealer in lighter color and putting that a little bit just on the darkest part under my eyes um, I have a hate and love relationship with this concealer I think this is too drying for my under eyes uh, but if I use it carefully, it works fine. Um, and then using the same brush and just blending it all out. Um, it's a good concealer to use if you have oily skin. So yeah, give it a go if you want. Now it's time to set those under eyes. I will be using Fit Me Powder. Again, a really good product. Um, I'm just taking a little bit on my brush and then dabbing it onto my eyes. Um, what I'll do is whatever excess is left on the brush, I will then um, put that on my chin, cheese, and anywhere to just set my face. 
because I am dry around my cheek, I don't really set my face that much. And that's the final result. Now it's time to contour our cheeks away. I'm using this very flat Kabuki brush. I got it from my local store, but I absolutely love it. Um, and I'll be using my Physician's Formula uh, bronzer. It is one of my favorite bronzer. Um, the reason why I love this brush is, as you can see, it's so easy to carve out your cheekbones with this. So especially if you're a beginner with makeup, I feel like the getting a brush like this would really help you out in that contouring skill. It practically does the job for you. All you have to do is blend, blend, blend. Um, I also love this Physicians Formula bronzer. It's really difficult to tell on camera. It's not showing that much because it's so subtle and it really gives that natural look to your skin. Um, here I am just contouring my forehead and then of course the double chin because let's be honest, we all need that after quarantine. <laughs> and here's the completed look. Moving on to one of my favorite parts about makeup, blushes. I absolutely love blushes. Here I'm using a coral blush with a rounded tip brush to apply it. I'm just taking a little bit and then putting it on my cheeks. As you can see, I like to take my blush towards my ears. I don't know, I feel like it's flattering on my face. Uh, but if you want to put it just on the apple of your cheeks, feel free to do so. It's highlighting time, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love a good highlighter and I'll be using this packed baked highlight today. I don't know the shade, of course. I'll put that in the description box below. Um, and again, I'm using the same brush that I used for my blush. Um, now, I like my highlight to be subtle and therefore I'm going very light-handed with my highlighter. However, if you like to go full out with your highlight, please feel free to do so. And yes, with that... Uh, my base makeup is done. Alright, it's time to move on to the eyes. I'm using the same bronzer that I used for my face and taking this fluffy brush, I'm just putting that on my crease. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not a very eye-focused makeup person. I uh, really don't do my eyes at all, but I guess Diwali is a time where I like to put a little bit of an extra effort towards my eyes um, and therefore... I'm just taking my bronzer and putting that on my crease and blending it. Now I'm taking this metallic shade from a brand called Australis. Um, I'm just taking that on my finger because I think the payout from finger is better than as opposed to a brush. And I'm just dabbing that onto my lid. Um, to be fair, this is the maximum I can do with an eye makeup, honestly. And that's why I wanted to show it to you guys. Because if you are someone like me who absolutely do not care about their eye makeup, then you can just dab onto some metallic shade onto your eyes and call it a day. And now I'm taking the same brush and the bronzer and I'm just going again and um, blending both my eyeshadow and my metallic shadow that I just put on so that there's no harsh lines and I think that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow part. I also attempted eyelining techniques in this video. <laughs> um, I am again not an eyeliner sort of a person. I never put eyeliner on my lid. Um, I was attempting to put it on camera. I don't know why but as you will see in a second I completely failed and therefore I took it off camera and this is the completed look. I like it. I think it's simple and nice. I also decided to put a kajal in my waterline. I feel like for any Indian festivities or whenever I'm wearing any traditional dresses, I like to put a little bit kajal because I think it complements our Indian um, eye shape so well. Um, I'm using a L'Oreal one in this uh, video, but I do not recommend it at all. It smudged on me within half an hour and was pretty bad. And the last thing that I want to do for my eyes is putting up some mascara. This one is from Benefit and I absolutely love it. While recording this voiceover, I actually realized I forgot to do my eyebrows. So yep, feel free to do that if that's your thing. Moving on to the lips. I am using this dark brown um, lip liner and just outlining my lips a little bit. I do not overdraw my lips at all. Uh, I'm just outlining it like normal and then I'll also fill a little bit of my lips with the same liner. Um, that's because I absolutely hate the look of butt lips. I guess that's what they are called. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Just outlining it and then filling it a little bit for my lipstick. 
I'm then using one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, NYX Matte something. I'm trying to show you guys the shade so hard, but I'll put that in the description box below. Uh, yep, so just applying that lipstick. As you can notice, this lipstick is actually a little bit lighter than my lip liner, and I did it purposely. I just like uh, the look of a darker lip liner and then a little bit lighter lipstick. And finally, to finish off my look, I'm just spraying this L'Oreal spray all over my face. It's an okay spray, but it gets the job done. So, yep, doing that and then fanning it with my hands. And that's the finished look, you guys. I hope you like this look. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And I'll see you next time. Bye!